<laughs> we have with us somebody I'm very excited to see. We basically, we literally met each other about 30 to 40 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I'm happy to have her here. Her name is Sarah Wells. She's the creative director at Photoville Studios. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's in the short time we've spent together, it's been a pleasure already. Yeah, same you know? here. It feels like we've known each other for a while. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, we have. We've, we've had several conversations online. Online, so. yeah, true. Yeah, true. even though we haven't seen physically, so. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you for being in my space. Yeah, thank it's you. Pleasure to have you here. <laughs> Tea with calligraphy is this thing I do where, because I drink a lot of tea, like, right. at this point, some tea company should be sponsoring. As in, I'm sure you get that deal soon. <laughs> you know, so I sit down with some of my favorite photographers and creatives over tea, yeah. and we ask them some questions that have been perfectly curated. Right. Yeah. The heart is beating. <laughs> just to um, explore their personalities because you know we tend to know photographers by their work, work but sure. who are they you know how are they what are their thoughts and certain you know so very mm -hmm. random questions some okay. of them might catch you off guard so <laughs> be prepared okay right so let's okay. get into it i'm ready okay so the first one is a simple one okay if you were not a photographer what would you be <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to be a doctor. Right. That was what I wanted to be when I was younger. Okay. But I don't think, if you, if you tell me to go back to school to do medicine now, I don't think <laughs> I'll be interested anymore. But right now, I think if... Okay, the other thing, I kind of am um, already dabbling into that. Okay. That's um, like interior furnitures and all of that. Oh, right. So I, I have a brand where I make furniture pieces and all. So okay. that's something I really love. So if I wasn't even doing photography as much, I probably would be like full time into that. So, but that's like my side thing. That's so, very interesting. Yeah. Did I so mention I want to renovate my studio? Yes, I, should, I could do that for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, I can do that cool. for you. I can, I can do it from Potako to, yeah. You know? I, I will do it, I can do it. Oh, well, that's nice. So yeah. it's it's still some form of it's still part it's of the creative, creative industry. True, isn't true it? that. True okay, that. that's great. Huh. So does that answer the question? Yeah, it does. Okay. It does. Okay. I mean, a lot of us aren't what we wanted to be when we were children. Yeah, anyway, that changed. Know, but that, that for me, I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to to help save lives. Now I don't know if I'm saving lives, but you're doing it through <laughs> photography, right? But my really saving lives. <laughs> there are people. I I actually believe that photography is saving lives. Okay. I mean, of course, documentary photographers. Right. That's it's certain that the work they do actually saves lives, okay. right? But as portrait photographers, mm. we all sort of have our insecurities, and yeah. everybody's going yeah. through something. Yeah. And you then, know, I feel like we all have, no matter how mild it is, some form of depression, yeah, right? True, true. But then when you photograph people and they see themselves yeah, and you yeah. lift them up through your true, images, true. I feel that are, way as well. Yeah. Like there's more we bring to the table than just those photographs. Yeah, it's almost, exactly. it's almost like therapy for some people. It's like therapy when they see those photos, they just come alive like, oh, I'm still this very beautiful person. Yeah. You know? so, yeah. yeah. I, I actually believe that I've saved marriages, right, honestly, because. Right. You know, you get, because you work with people all the time, yeah. you can tell what mood they're in, what their energy is True like. That. And you can tell that these two people are not in a good place right now. Mm. But because of the experience, yeah, the pictures that, that you take, they leave holding hands and smiling yeah, and whatnot. You that's know? So, true. Yeah. <laughs> so you ask the saving lives. Yeah. That's true. I'm glad I'm saving lives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next question is, if you could do, if you were asked to do a 40-minute presentation right. on a topic without preparing, what would the topic be? Photographing women. OK. Yeah. I think that comes naturally to me. So photographing women, understanding um, their body type, and uh, just photographing women. I can build an entire. 40 minutes talk on that. I, I should do that. I should be able to do that easily. Body so types. Body um, types. Um, 
the the energy you give off is the same energy you get you back. Receive, right. So being warm and all of that matters in, in the way you even interact with the woman you're photographing. And mm. women are hormonal. You need to know that about them. They are they're conscious of their body, especially the kind of women I photographed. They're a little bit older. Right. Okay. So they've had a lot of body changes. You've had kids. So you feel your confidence level is not as high as maybe it used to be before. Right. So when you're photographing them, you're coming in with that mindset that, okay, this woman is dealing with all of this. How do I make her feel awesome at the end of this session? Ah. So all of that, I would, I do that. That's like what I do almost every day. So right. I could talk about that for 40 minutes. I, I would attend that. <laughs> I would attend that, you know. Oh, really? Because... I, I don't know if it's just a photography thing, but we all tend to photograph a lot of women, women yeah. right? They tend to take more pictures than men. Yeah. And you have inside knowledge being yes, a woman. Yes, yes. Right? So, being, a woman, being a woman who's had kids, right. who's dealing with some of the challenges that I faced when I was in my early 20s and the challenges I'm facing in my 30s, they're not the same. Right. And most of my clients are like maybe... 30 and above, so I can totally relate now to most yeah, of the things they what, feel right. when I meet them. So, yeah. Uh, could so definitely. You can, you, you can bring me to Abuja to come and talk on that. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> I, I didn't do a workshop last year, but, you know, God willing, I'm going to do one this year. Okay. And I want it to be really value-packed. Right. Because... Um, a lot, I feel like a lot of workshops, unfortunately, sorry, my fellow photographers, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of workshops are just a means for the person organizing it to pay rent right. or to buy a camera. Like, how do I raise money quickly? quickly Let me okay. do a workshop, okay. right? Not to give back. Not necessarily. There, there's no soul in it. Right. Do you get what I yeah. mean? I want you to come to my workshop and actually be Become lifted. better. Yeah. Right. I have that that vision. I want to lift the people around me. For me, for tackled, like I have there are lots of photographers I meet that are so good, but I know that there's something missing. Right. Sometimes it's just maybe your mindset. Sometimes it's the way you see people. There's just something missing. I just want to fill that gap in my own little way. Right. And a lot of times I'm not thinking money. Like the Capture Africa thing we did, it wasn't yeah. about money. It wasn't like I let you, if I tell you how much I charge, you'll be shocked. It wasn't about money. Right. I, I spent my personal money to put that thing together. So, yeah, so I understand what you mean. Yeah. Look forward to our invitation. We'll be honored. We'll be whoop, absolutely whoop, honored whoop. to have you around. Whoop, whoop. We can't yeah. wait <laughs> to be back to my favorite city. Yeah, so, <laughs> again... PH people is just, it's lovely. Please, even with <laughs> <laughs> Battlefield. Okay. There is a war. Hmm. Okay. Photographers are the good guys. Right. Who do you think will be the bad guys? <laughs> Why would you say the makeup artist? Actually, the makeup artist, especially when, when you're shooting weddings and then, yeah, I think... I think we can use the makeup artist. Especially when you're shooting weddings and or you're, you're doing something, you have, you're, there's like limited time to get the job done. Right. Now, makeup artist is struggling with you to get her own pictures. First, she has spent 100 hours to do the makeup. Yeah. You, you guys have limited, you've been hired to do this job, you yeah. need to get your portrait. Yeah. Makeup artist is still spending time to now still get pictures and videos. And create content. And create content. Yeah. And then you that you're hired to do this, you can't even take out the time to make your own, right. to get your own content. So And nobody ever blames makeup artists. Yes. Nobody ever it's says, you. you're taking too much time. It's mm. the Photographer, that everybody's like, you have five minutes. Yes. You know? And then you need to give me, I need time to create the kind of pictures you hired me for. Yeah. So, yeah, makeup artist one. Sometimes those aunties and those, um, <laughs> especially for weddings, yeah, all those aunties, not even, even for portraits. So, yeah. those same um, assistants, clients. I call them assistant <laughs> clients. <laughs> that would just want nice to come and saying, adding salt and sugar to the right. you're taking photos. They're like, ah, this is your background. Is it not too uh, this color will not really work? Did I like did I call you? Did I ask for your opinion? The clients sometimes the clients will be like, no, just leave her. She knows what she's doing. I, I don't think this 
you are just talking and you're talking and you're putting me under pressure. <laughs> so yeah, such people, assistant clients. Assistant clients. <laughs> That's a new one. Yes. That's a new one. Okay. So makeup artists and assistant clients. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like there's a lot of people that yeah. are just enemies. Right. right? <laughs> um, the dollar rate yeah. is an enemy. <laughs> My brother, oh Lord, <laughs> that's so freaking <laughs> You know, the dollar rate is definitely an enemy. You know, mm -hmm. you see, so Camera Joint had put out a Z9, which I was interested in, mm -hmm. and used, it was four million. My God. Used. And they keep complaining. Why are photographers charging so ah, much money? I see. So, yeah, it right used now. used camera is four million. Now. Four million used. You guys should be... Having mercy on us, so we're not we're spending money. We're spending a lot, of money, a lot of money, you know. And that's camera only. It doesn't yeah, come with doesn't any come lenses, with the lens. you know. So I'll be going to war mm. against the dollar. <laughs> <rate. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Work-life balance. Mm. Mm. Is it a mountain you've conquered, or is it a slippery slope? Mm -hmm. That you're sliding off. Of. We're sliding off. <laughs> okay, so my take on this here, yeah, for me, it used to be really bad. Okay. It used to be really, really bad. But the older I get, the more, um, and especially because I have, I have, I'm a mom, I have kids, right? And I see that these children are growing up, and I want to be present. I don't want to miss out on every milestone. I want to be pre present. I want to be a part of their life. I don't want to just be working all the time. Yeah. So there was a season where I had to make some changes in my business to accommodate more of the mom time. Right. You know? okay. However, the photography business and my whole business, me, I'm into, a, I'm, a, I'm not an evil girl, but I'm almost like an <laughs> evil girl because I'm always looking for money. You know? So that hustle in me tends to always creep in. Like there's always something I'm trying to do. But now I'm trying so hard to commit 100% when I'm with them. Yeah. So even if I'm just spending two hours or three hours with them, I am present. Like right. I'm trying to make a conscious effort to be present. Right. So if I'm at work, I'm at work. Yeah, maybe you may never even be able to get me on the phone. And thankfully, the way my husband's work is now, he works um, from home. Right. He works remotely. So right. he's more... Like he's more around than I am. Right. Me, I'm the one always going out early in the morning, coming right. back in the evening. So at least he's there for that balance. We have a lot of support system at home. And then when I'm present, like the holidays, I took the Christmas holiday. I closed for the year. I closed 22nd. That's when most people are, are beginning to work. But I have to close because I don't want to. I don't want to become the mother that would deprive my family of proper Christmas memories just because I'm working. So now I have decided that, okay, whatever Christmas hustle will come, I will, I will sacrifice it. Let me be at home. So I was literally present the whole of the Christmas and resumed 9th of January. I saw a video you posted of you guys doing karaoke. Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so now I'm trying so hard to, when I'm at home, I'm at home. Like I try to bond with them. Right. I was, the, the, the argument I was having with my son about cooking, I'm there. And I noticed that if I'm not around, some of these little values I'm trying to instill yeah. into them, nobody cares. The people in the house, nobody really cares. They're watching TV, they're just not, you know, and I, I, I need to be there to raise them. My mom raised me, like a lot of the, the person I am today, I heard a lot of the things she used to say. And if I'm not there to say those things to them, right. who will they become in the future? So I don't want to lose out on motherhood because of the hustle. I know that it's not easy at all. It's not, there are times when I used to feel like, should I just give up? Just become a stay-at-home mom and be raising my children. Right. But then there's still bills to pay, and I am I'm a, I'm, I'm a driven... I have my dreams, and I want to achieve that dream. The work-life balance thing, I don't even know if there's a, a, that term should even exist. I don't know if anybody's actually balancing work. And, yeah. yeah, you just try. You try. You, you juggle it. Best. You do your best, yeah. yeah. You do your best. And I try to be present 
when I'm when I'm there, I when try to there be there. So now I try not to take too much work home anymore. Like right. if I have to take work home, then it has to be, you know, that is, this kind of thing that is holding. Yeah. You. <laughs> but I put in so many things in my business, like delivery time. I deliver my images two weeks after shoot. Okay. Just so that I'm not on that no, duress. Not under to, pressure. Okay, so I've told you ahead of time. But then, then again, there's still times I'll call you up and something, something happened. Please, my birthday is in so, so, so time, and I, I didn't know about this for two weeks. This thing right. is just fix me in. Sometimes you have to consider such people. But even when I'm considering such people, I probably give you maybe three or four images to use for the birthday. And so yeah, I, I don't just overwhelm. Right. Before I deliver, three days after, I've thought about that life before. <laughs> so yeah, my uh, family is important to me, very important to me. Before now, my husband used to drop. No, my I have a sister. My sister lives with me, and I have a cousin that lives with me. So the, either of them, anybody can drop the children at school in the morning. Right. But now I make it a point of duty to drop them at school, just to spend just that so, time yeah, with them. Like yeah. so, as I'm dropping them off, we're praying together, we're chatting, we're talking about a few things, and so I need, I actually need it for my own sanity to so right. just drive them to school. So just little changes here and there. But it's not easy, and I keep yeah. having the mom guilt. Man, I don't know if people have that guilt. I, have, I, I doubt that it would be as bad as for, mothers, yeah, but yeah, we do as well. There's something called the mom yeah. guilt. You just keep feeling like you're not doing enough for your family, right. you know. Right. We're trying our best. I have restructured my business mainly because I'm, in, I'm a family woman, right. you know. So. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to do the same as mm. well. There are days when... I just decided I'm not going to the studio today because yeah. I haven't spent time with this yes. girl. So yes. and my wife, exactly. you know, she's one yeah. of the girls. Yeah, exactly. You know, let, even if I'm not going to say much and I'm mm. just going to watch football all day, mm. at least let me be around. Yeah. But then on the flip side, it's also important, I believe, for them to see you go out and work. Exactly. It's also important. <laughs> you're, that's also a lesson you're teaching them. Exactly. Right, that. These things that Life, yeah. you have to work for it, for you have it, to work yeah, hard, yeah. you know. And the fact that I'm away doesn't mean I don't care about yeah. you, or but bills have to be paid at exactly. the end of the day. And it's not even just about bills, it's also about your mental state. Yeah. Like not being idle, having something that keeps you busy, exactly. something that get, takes you out of the house every day. So, yeah. God, go help us. Go help us. <laughs> <laughs> go <do> right. <laughs> Last two questions. Okay. Right? The first would be just advice. Like, there are a lot of people who are watching who, well, hopefully there are a lot of you watching <laughs> who are beginners, you know, who are just starting their journeys and look up to people like you who are more right. experienced, who are skilled at what they do, right. who are world famous. Am I world famous? <laughs> <laughs> right? And okay. um, if you could just give a bit of advice okay. like to that person who Starts knows with. that they love photography, but they are not quite sure yet, where am I going? How will I get gear? How will I ever get as good as so so person? Just advice for the person starting out. Okay. So, um, if I'm going to advise somebody starting out, um, if you're sure you want to do this, start taking steps towards it. Start consuming information. Like, start investing in knowledge. You can't become without... Um, I want to sound like all these motivational speakers. <laughs> the words are not coming. You can't become without... We, we should, put, we should play <laughs> inspirational music here. Yeah. <laughs> No, but you have to invest in knowledge. You can't pour from an, from an you, empty Exactly. Pot. You have to invest yeah. in knowledge. You need to learn whatever it is you want to do. And for photography, you need to learn, understand the craft, and also understand the business, especially if you want to do this as a business. So a lot of us made the... I made the mistake of just being driven by passion and all of that. And it, the business thing dawned on me as I got older, like... This is actually supposed to be a, a business. You went to school, you're a graduate. If you were not doing photography, you'll be earning X, Y, Z amount of money if you had a good job. I want my photography to pay me as much as the job I would have gotten when, if I had done something else. So start thinking in line of 
the business of photography, not just the skill. So as you're gathering knowledge on photography as a skill, lighting, editing, and all of that, also read up business of photography. So that when you come out and start out, the, all the boxes will be ticked and you will not end up regretting. You will not become the hungry photographer that wants to give up at the end of the day. Because most people are hungry because they've not taken out time to learn and understand the business of photography. Yeah. Yeah. Great advice because there aren't a lot of there aren't a lot of voices talking to creatives about learning the business. business Everybody's yeah. telling you, especially photographers, how to edit better, yeah. how to light, how to color grade. Yeah, you and know. there's more to there's the there's business. more to it because yeah. like you said, if you're going to do this thing, it should pay you more than you know, the average government job, Thank right? Yeah. Uh, because at the end of the day, even a lot of the pressure that you might get from family, especially, that tell you, oh, just get a regular job. Mm. At the end of the day, it's about money, it's stability. about sustenance. Yeah, like, too. once you can prove that this thing you're doing is sustainable, sustain, then yeah. you'd be good. So from, from the start, pay attention to have a mentor, have yeah, mentors yeah, that true, I'm mentor. not saying don't learn the techniques, learn about lighting and editing and all of that, but have a, have listen to business coaches true and that. people like that so that you're growing on both sides. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that a lot of us are technique yeah, businesses business. is down there. That's the struggle know. we're all facing. Yeah. And it's dawning on a lot of us maybe much later yeah. in, in life, not right. from the beginning. So if yeah. you can pick everything up from the beginning, invest right. in the business knowledge and the creative knowledge, put everything together, within a short time, you'll be balling. There's balling. In the industry, you'll be balling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's excellent yeah. advice. Let's close out with this, right? If you could choose one motto or phrase mm -hmm. to live your life by, what would it be? I know that these things sometimes change depending on where we are in life, but do you have a motto or phrase that? Take it one day at a time. Um, a lot of times we're just overwhelmed and you're just thinking about sometimes just take it one day at a time. It right. will unravel itself as you progress. So take it one day at a time. That's one motto I live by. Right. And I'm a Christian, so a lot, I talk about my faith a lot. Putting your trust in God has significantly helped me become who I am. Right. And if I didn't have that, um, like that's that grounding, yeah, I probably won't be where I am. Like when I'm when I face all these challenges, I just feel like okay, I have I have something bigger backing me up. Right. So that keeps me going. When I face any any challenge, any anything, I just know that there's something bigger backing me up. So mm -hmm. yeah, I trust God completely. So yeah, putting your trust in God, that should be my second motto. I think that that's another thing that we need to have more conversations about. Yeah. Um, creatives, faith, what part does faith yeah. you faith know, play in, in your growth your as journey. a creative? Because at the end of the day, yeah. ultimately, we're trying to create like the original creator, creator. Right. at the end of the day, right? So yeah, it's another thing that we true. should discuss more openly as creatives. Yeah, true. One motto I like to live by is, if you do not live for the praises of people, yeah. you will not die from their criticisms. Right. right. Their criticisms only affect you when you are looking for their, their praise. praises. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? If does. you just don't live your life, you know, so we mentioned faith, right? As long as you, your family, are okay. good and you're good with God. Uh, every, everything else is. This is this is, this is the word <laughs> I needed to hear. Like flesh and blood do not exist. You are needed to hear this today. Every everything else is by the way. It does, that. really doesn't matter. True, you know. True. Yeah. I agree one hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Sarah Wells. Yep, yeah, yep, 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 yep. In the creative place. director, <laughs> Photoville Studios. Portal Court's finest. Yes, so. <laughs> so please just tell us about Capture Africa. Yeah. Um, Capture Africa is a workshop that, this was the second edition, yeah, was it, yeah. right? It was a workshop hosted in Portal Court by, you know, Sarah Wells and 
Please tell us about it. How did it go? Yeah, we just concluded um, the second edition a couple of months ago. When was that? Like two months ago. Right. It was amazing. We had um, some photographers in Port Harcourt, and then we had um, portraits by MM from Lagos, and we had Mr. Ben Adu from Ghana. We actually met. Mr. Ben Adu kind of connected yeah. with both of us. It was amazing. It was. And the feedback we received um, from the conference was very heartwarming. I still have some of the people that attended contact me every now and then to ask questions about their journey. And I'm very happy to give back in my own little way. So, yeah, it's been, it's, it was an amazing experience and it's still been an amazing experience. We still hope to have um, another one this year. So I'm, I'm hoping maybe you'll come. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. Yeah, so. I'll, I'll be honored, you know. If I'm invited, I'll be honored, honestly, because I'll get to come to Port Harcourt for the first time. Right. You know, I get to visit your space and yeah. with my studio tours. <laughs> you know, it'd be nice to come. Besides, um, explore. I want to explore this year. Right. Right? I want to explore this year. I want to go. So I want to see Mr. Ben in Ghana. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he yeah. said he might even be. Yeah, he said he was coming maybe June or July, yeah, something so like bad. that, right? To go to Ghana, to go to PH. I have I to plenty to people to see in Lagos, for example. Right. So it could be a PH Lagos thing. You know, right. So, okay, great. Um, PH people watching, hopefully you attended the workshop. And if you didn't, you definitely should check out the next one. True that. You know, yeah. she is, I believe she's full of, m most importantly, I think she has a giving spirit, which right. unfortunately a lot of people don't have in our industry. It, there, there are a lot of takers in the industry. Yeah. There are a lot of people who are just looking, what will I get from you? From, yeah. uh, give me that, your color grade. Uh, how do you, yeah, do, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. right? So I get drawn to people who are givers, right. and I believe that, okay. you know, that's, oh, that's who you, you are. You know, so definitely check out Capture Africa 3.0. Yes, I guys. pray I'm able to be there. You know, and I'm sure it will be fantastic. It thank you, be. thank you very much for spending the afternoon with us. Thanks for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. I will link her channel in the description. Yeah. That's probably the first time I've ever seen that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I'll link her channel. She has excellent content, a lot of wisdom for photographers and creatives generally. So, yeah. Subscribe, subscribe, like, <laughs> share, share right? <laughs> Take care. See you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.